Let's see the question, students. Both ionic and covalent bonds are present in the given options are KOH, BaSO4, NaCN, or the last option is all of these. Let's proceed this question, students, with the very first option, which is KOH. In this question, K plus and O minus has an electrovalent bond. That means ionic bond. On the other hand, the OH bond is covalent bond. Let's move to the next option, students, which is BaSO4. In this case, Ba2 positive and SO4 2 minus has electrovalent bond. That means ionic bond. While in sulfate ion, SO is covalently bonded. Let's move to the next option, students, which is NaCN. In this case, Na plus and CN minus has electrovalent bond. That means ionic bond. On the other hand, CN has covalent bond. So students, that means all the given options, KOH, BaSO4 and NaCN have both ionic and covalent bonds. So the correct answer for this question is number 4. That is all of these. Let's move to the next question, students, which is 62. Let's read the question, students. The molecule in which the central atom has three bond pairs and two lone pairs of electrons is. The given options are AlCl3, PCl3, BrF3 and the last option is NH3. So students, for this question we need to draw the structures of the given molecules. Let's start with AlCl3. In this case, aluminium have three bond pairs. Let's move to the next option which is PCl3. In this case, phosphorus has one lone pair and three bond pairs. Let's move to the next option, students, which is BrF3. In this case, bromine has three bond pairs and two lone pairs since bromine has seven electrons in its outermost shell. And the last option is NH3. In this case, nitrogen has one lone pair and three bond pair. So that means the molecule in which central atom has three bond pairs and two lone pairs of electron is BrF3. So the correct answer is option number 3. Let's move to the next question, students, which is 63. Let's see the question. Which of the following species has only pi bonds? The given options are Li2, C2, H2 or O2. Students, among the given options, C2 molecule has only pi bonds. And for that, we need to discuss the molecular orbital configuration of C2 molecule. So let's start. C2 has 12 electrons. So let's write the electronic configuration. Sigma 1s2, Sigma star 1s2, Sigma 2s2, Sigma star 2s2. Then we have pi 2px2 and pi 2 p y 2 plus we can clearly see the bond order of c2 is 2 students as we can clearly see that the electrons present in sigma 1s sigma star 1s sigma 2s and sigma star 2s cancel each other and the two bonds present in c2 results from the electron present in the pi orbital that is pi 2 p x orbital and pi 2 p y orbital therefore we can clearly say that both the bonds in C2 are pi bonds. So the correct answer for this question is number 2. C2 molecule has only pi bonds. Let's move to the next question, students, which is 64. An example of odd electron molecule is the given options are NO2, CO2, SO2 or CO. Class, this is a very important and a very easy question. As we all know that NO2 has an unpaired electron present in it 
as a result we can say that NO2 is an example of odd electron molecule so the correct answer is number 1 let's move to the next question students which is 65 let's read the question in sulfate ion bond order of SO bond is the given options are 1.33 1.5, 1.25 or 1.75. So class, let's draw the structure of sulphate ion. The geometry is tetrahedral. In this case, we can calculate the bond order of SO bond and the formula for that is number of sigma bonds plus number of pi bonds divided by number of sigma bonds and as we can say that so it is very clear number of sigma bonds present in sulfate ion are 4 and number of pi bonds are 2 so that gives a total of 1.5 that means the correct answer for this question is number 2 let's move to the next question students